All right, this is a zip level, a 75 foot version of this costs $800 in 2024. And a 100 foot version of this costs $1,000. And Austin is now gonna demonstrate how to use it. Very complicated piece of machinery. <laughs> All right, the altimeter itself is housed in the side of the machine. You're going to set this at a centralized part of the house. No, it doesn't have to be dead center. It just needs to be accessible to the majority of the house, if not all of it. Always emphasize not moving this thing. This is your base, this part right here. You're gonna tell the machine that the base is zero. How do you do that? You turn it on. There's a button that says on off. You're gonna set this thing right here. You're gonna let it do some thinking. And then you're gonna hold the zero button. Now the whole world knows that this point right here is zero. Now you're gonna base all of your measurements off of a difference in elevation from this point. <coughs> you use the term elevation somewhat lightly because it's not taking topo topographical elevations. It is simply measuring the difference in A and B. One of the important things to note that we think we have uh, seen become very commonplace is people like to walk around and manipulate this cord as they're doing that. So that point said zero, zero when it was completely unmolested a second ago. Now it's jumping all over the place. Oh man, we've got a half inch drop now. I'm holding it in my hand. If you set it down and let the machine read the thing as it's intended, Ta-da! You get a very different result. That chair is about 22.4 inches higher than the base. Got a big old crack in the ground over here. I wonder how much lower that is. Oh, right about a half inch. And that's how you will get global numbers on a slab to determine if there is, in fact, a uh, settlement problem or a foundation problem.